Hey guys, so today I am breaking down the CL40 and just my overall thoughts of this weapon. Now, kind of diving into the CL40 and in the training grounds, this weapon does decently well. I am a fan of it in the training grounds. It looks like it should shine really well. Even on paper, this weapon looks like it should be a lot of fun to use. Now, when I get into my gameplay later, I'm gonna have a different story. But diving in, you know, for a light two shot, boom, done. Splash damage even does pretty decently well with it. Now it gets to medium, it can feel a little funky. Now heavy, it does, you're gonna have to shoot a lot to get down, kill a heavy. And I think that's where it's gonna be frustrating, whereas a lot of other classes weapons, they don't have that struggle with this weapon. So, eh. Now for the range of this weapon, surprisingly, it's pretty good. I'm a fan of it. Like the fact that you can sit pretty far away from an objective and just launch grenades in, prime. I am down for that. It is. It shines there really, really well. Now, I guess with saying that, its splash damage isn't very wide. So, you know, you're going to most likely tear down a building more so than actually hit anyone. But still, like if they're capturing the objective, as long as you're aiming at the objective, you're going to be nailing that person trying to capture it. So, like I said, does really well with that. And I would say, you know, if you're just going to play around for fun, this weapon fits that it's fun other than that i'm gonna say stick away from it so kind of getting more into my gripes with this weapon i think they need to make some changes to it i think they need to give it some more spice you know give it some more cooking and i think to do that i think they need to increase the mag size increase the splash damage or even maybe ignore the APS turret. I mean, both the Heavy and this both have grenade launchers, and maybe that's way too OP, but I think it's kind of hard to get in a gunfight and or fight another team when you can't. Like, when an APS turret completely ignores your primary weapon, I mean, you're just kind of a sitting duck, and no other class really has that, that problem. So... That's kind of like what I, I think I'd like to see. Just not all of those changes all at once. That's That would be wild. But, you know, maybe they should play around with it more. Maybe I, I probably might see some changes this season. Not super hoping, but I hope they do a rework with this. Um, the grenade launchers are unique, kind of fun, but I think they need something more to them. Maybe a little bit more rework to kind of put them in play. The APS turret maybe needs a little bit more of a nerf, but... Or maybe it's like a two shot with with the grenade launcher to get the right, rid of the APS turret, but that's just what it is. I it's, it's hard to say, but overall, I'd say stay away from this gun. Better options for the medium and that are they have a lot more utility, a lot they're a little bit more useful. But that's just kind of my overall thoughts of this weapon. You know, let me know what you guys think of this weapon. You know, I maybe I'm using it wrong. You know, let me know if you got some tips and tricks, but. That's just kind of my overall view of this weapon, and I'll come back to it when they make some changes to it. But for now, I say stay away. But thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys out in the finals. Thanks for tuning in. And that's a wrap.